Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a what's in my bag video and this is one of the most requested videos that I've had in my channel. I think I said this in one of my old videos. I think it was called how to smell good or something. Um, if you guys want to see a what's in my bag video and so many of you guys left comments on that video saying that you guys want to see a what's in my bag video and ever since then I've got them, I've Ever since then I have been contemplating the idea of doing one and I just didn't find the right bag to do a what's in my bag video. Um, I have a ton of bags but I usually change my bags out on a daily depending upon the outfit I'm wearing. Sometimes I'll carry a nude bag, sometimes I'll carry a black bag, sometimes I'll carry a grey bag or a different coloured bag according to whatever looks good with my outfit but recently I came across this brand called Messy. And um, I went to their launch where they launched their bags and jewellery and I found this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. And ever since I found this bag and I got this bag, this is the only bag that I've been using. I think I have been using this bag for about a month now and it is just such a beautiful bag. It goes with everything. Um, this is a two-toned black bag with gold hardware so it definitely goes with almost everything in my collection and I'm usually someone who wears gold jewellery anyway because that's the kind of jewellery that I like to wear. I personally love gold jewellery. As you can see it has beautiful crystals and spikes around the sides and the brand is called messy hair is what the brand is called and i think you can find this brand on snapdeal and i think that is the only place they retail as of now so if i do find this bag so if i do find this bag i will link it down below for you guys so you can check it out and i think this bag costs around six thousand rupees or something like that and yeah it's absolutely wonderful the only problem with this bag is if it opens then it becomes really hard to close it and I kind of have to like stop somewhere so I can close the bag and I like to keep it nice and secure otherwise it just flaps open and I don't really like that and I don't think it looks like a bag that costs 6000 rupees I think it looks like a bag that costs a lot more it reminds me of a Celine trapeze I love the winged style and it just goes with everything and I recently posted an outfit where I used this bag where I was wearing this bag with my outfit and I posted it on Instagram and my Facebook so if you don't follow me on there please do and I will show you what this bag looks like so yeah I've even taken this bag out to parties and things where it's like a casual party and I'm wearing jeans it just looks really really beautiful with that I have worn this a lot of times and I've received so many compliments on this bag and even you guys seem to really like this bag as well um, so yeah, let's jump into it. So so you flap open this closure and you twist this thing and then your bag opens. And then there is this zip that keeps everything safe and secure. Um, but as you can see, you can still see some things from the side, but that's fine. And there is a titch button. I think it's called a titch button. And you can just actually um, clip the sides like that. So I like to keep these open because if I do, then I get a little more space in my bag. So yeah, that's going to stay open. So yeah, I'm just going to jump into it and this is what my bag looks like from the inside. I am a relatively organized person. I do not just end up throwing things in my bag. Um, I know what is where and I don't like to have to rummage through my bag and not be able to find things. So I like to keep them divided in um, bags and compartments so I know where everything is. and. I usually make sure I clean out my bag every time I come back from somewhere because I end up with receipts and cards and different things so I like to throw all of that out and keep whatever is important and I like to keep my bag nice and clean. So yeah that is what my bag looks like. There is a zip over there and it says messy inside if you can see that and then there are these pockets over here where I keep the stuff that I want to have on easy reach, have on easy reach, where I want to be where I keep the stuff that I want to reach as I can't speak today over here I keep that stuff that I don't want to have to rummage through and find I keep things that I need in an emergency basis or things that I need to quickly grab so the first thing that is the most important thing is my phone of course I usually just keep my phone in my hand or in my pocket 
but if I'm out somewhere and I don't want the hassle of having the phone in my hand, having my phone in my hand, so I just put it in my bag and it usually stays in that pocket where I can quickly grab it and use it. This is the iPhone 6 and I have a rose gold tempered glass cover on this and it looks like it's shattering a little bit so I'm gonna have to get that replaced. I think I'm just gonna put a gold one next because I'm kind of bored of rose gold. Um, so yeah, that's my phone. That is the first the most important thing in my bag. <laughs> then there are three more things in this back pocket that I like to keep on easy reach. And the first thing is a pepper spray which I think this is the only thing in the world that you buy with the intention of never wanting or having to use it. But yeah, I like to keep this on me because it's much better to be safe than sorry. And if I am in a shady area, if I feel like I'm in, a, I'm in an unsafe place, I just keep it in my pocket or ready in my hand. But otherwise, if I'm in a safe place, I like to keep it um, in my bag, still in the easy reach pocket. The next thing are mints. This is the Tic Tac Mint Mint and City, and this is my favorite, favorite, favorite mint. The blue ones, especially. And as you can see, the blue ones are all gone. Um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll grab like four or five of these, and I'll just put the blue ones in one pack, and I'll just use that. Um, I wish they'd make a separate one for just the blue ones because the blue ones are really, really strong, and you only need one. And I absolutely love the blue ones. I don't even like the white ones actually. But yeah, you definitely need to have mints. And then I have a lip balm. This is the Body Shop lip balm in, I think this is the plum one. Yeah, this is plum. And this is a great lip balm to wear under matte lipsticks because it does not make your lips glossy and slippery. Um, matte lipsticks really sit well um, over the Body Shop lip balms. So yeah, I have that over there. And now I'm gonna dive into my handbag. The first thing that you see is this big pink case. These are my sunglasses. And these are by the brand Grey Fashion Company, I think it's called. And I found them on Instagram and I have been absolutely obsessed with these. They're a really beautiful cat eye. And then they have this really fun zebra pattern. And the only thing is that they're silver and most of my jewellery and most of my clothes and bags have a gold hardware. But for those of you who are wondering how it looks, this is how it looks so you can see. And I really, really love them. So the next thing in my bag is my wallet because that is another one of the most important things in your bag. This is my wallet. This is by the brand 20 Dresses and I've had this wallet for a year. It still looks nice and new. I'm not going to go inside my wallet because that's kind of personal. So yeah, it just opens up like that and I really, really love this wallet. I got the blue one. They have a black one in this as well. I'm not sure if you can still find it or not because I got this a year ago. But if I can find it, I will leave a link in the description box. Then I have a little bottle of Listerine because you never know when you need this and I always like carrying this. If I'm staying somewhere um, for the night, I usually just carry my toothbrush and toothpaste with me as well. Even when I used to work, I used to go to work and I always had um, a toothpaste and a toothbrush on me. But if I'm just going out for a few hours, I usually just carry Listerine and Tic Tacs with me. So that's that and then I have my perfume. This is the one that I'm currently using. This is by Adidas. And this is their Fruity Rhythm Perfume. If you know me, you know that I am a sucker for girly fruity things and girly fruity perfumes. And yeah, I just spritz it throughout the day whenever I want to touch up. It smells so good. I can't even tell you how amazing it smells. So yeah, that is one of my absolute favorite perfumes of all time. I have been using this since I was like 16 or 17. And now that I'm grown up, I still actually have the fruity scent of this. Um, then I have a deodorant. This is the Burst of Happiness deodorant cream. On a daily basis, I don't like wearing um, antiperspirants and things that have aluminum in them because I'm just too scared of that. I usually like using natural stuff instead. This is the Burst of Happiness deodorant cream in cedarwood and bergamot. Um, this is only made of baking soda and essential oils and you can go onto their website to find out more about them. It's a very strong scent. It's a very strong citrusy scent and it lasts around four or five hours. Like the scent will last four or five hours. And I personally am not the kind of person who sweats a lot. I don't really sweat. I get oily. I don't sweat as much as some regular people. So if you are someone who sweats a lot, this might not be enough for you. But this is great for someone who does not sweat a lot and I'll just apply it straight after my shower. It also moisturizes your underarm area which is so important. We always forget to moisturize our underarms but we should take care of that as well because underarms and neck are the places where you see wrinkles um, before you see wrinkles anywhere else and you usually neglect that area a lot and I love that that has essential oils. 
so everything can stay moisturized then I have my tangle teaser this is also one of the most important things in my bag um, there was one day when I forgot my comb and ever since then I decided that I'll always carry an emergency comb in my wallet because an emergency flat comb because one day I forgot to carry my hairbrush or my tangle teaser and the whole day I could not comb my hair so I just ended up buying a comb from somewhere because yeah I'm that kind of person who will comb my hair in the middle of wherever I am because I reapply my lipstick, I comb my hair and yeah I don't even care where I am if I have to do those things I will do those things anyway this is my tangle teaser it's a beautiful leopard print one if you haven't used these before they're totally totally worth it they are so easy to use they make your hair nice and tangle free they don't hurt your hair they really comb out your hair well so yeah I really enjoy this I think I got this one from um, Nika and I think it was around 700-ish rupees then I have my spectacles because I always like to carry my spectacles I wear contacts for those of you who don't know I have a power in my eyes so I always carry my contact lens case and my spectacles because you never know when you want to take out your contacts and when you want to end up wearing your spectacles and there have been times when I've been out with friends and they wanted me to stay over but I could not stay over because I didn't have my spectacles and that is not cute I always 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 have to have my spectacles on me and for those of you who are wondering how they are this is what they look like I'm not sure if I've ever worn these on camera I think I featured these in one of my favorites videos I don't really remember they're definitely a favorite because I can't live without them so yeah those are my spectacles and I think um, we're almost done with my bag the only thing that is left in my bag is my actual makeup bag and then there is this zip at the back where I keep curly things because you never know when you might need one or your friend may need one so yeah we have come to the end of my bag the only thing that is remaining is my actual makeup bag and we are almost done with everything so I'm gonna go through my makeup bag now this is a fat bag that I got I think one or two months ago and I like to carry this as a makeup bag because it has makeup on it and it's just so cute and it fits everything and it keeps my makeup organized so if I want to touch up or if I want something I just pick up this bag and I don't end up throwing things in my bag that way and my bag does not get dirty so let's just jump into it and see what's inside there's probably a lot of things and I'm sure the average woman does not carry so much makeup does not even wear so much makeup um, but I like to carry a lot because you never know where you'll be and you should always have options um, so the first thing I have is my contact lens case which I already talked about and I think the thing that I have the most of are lip products other than that I'm pretty reasonable and I have a decent amount of stuff um, so the first thing I'm gonna grab is a lip balm this is also a body shop lip balm and this is in the scent strawberry and I only have that much left so I probably need to restock on that and this is the strawberry one this I keep in my makeup bag in case I forget um, the other one that I have I know I'm kind of a lip balm addict then I have my mascara this is Maybelline the Colossal and I wear washable mascara on a day to day because I used to wear waterproof mascara every day and it ruined my lashes and it was just so difficult to remove at night and washable mascara is just so much easier to remove so yeah I wear my washable mascara but if it smudges I'll clean it up and I'll reapply my mascara so that's why I have this on hand then I have what else do I have I have a concealer this is the Maybelline fit me concealer because you never know when something smudges when you want to touch something up so I always have a concealer this is the exact shade of my skin tone I need to get one that is lighter than my skin tone so I can use it to highlight but this is the exact shade as my skin tone I can even use it as foundation if I want and this is in the shade 20 sand saber it's a really nice sheer to medium kind of concealer it does not look cakey and it definitely needs to be set because if you don't set it it will crease so that's that and then i have i think this video is going to be really really long i feel like all my videos are so long um so i carry a compact for touching up this is a sleek luminous pressed powder and i like this because it's sheer coverage it does not give you a lot of coverage and it's nice and luminous so i carry that and this is in the shade 01 then i have a blush this is the maybelline cheeky glow blush in the shade creamy cinnamon it's a beautiful neutral no thought required blush if you're someone who does not know what blush to wear with different things this is a really beautiful pinky brown nudie kind of color you can wear this color with a lot of different 
lip colors and eyeshadow looks and it would look beautiful so i like to keep this in my makeup bag in case i'm wearing any sort of makeup this would look great with all sorts of makeup that's why i like to carry that in my bag and to apply my powder and my blush i carry this brush this is the real techniques bold metals brush in 300 i think this is the blush brush it's a really nice soft brush i really really love it and it's kind of dense so it really nicely applies powder where i want it to apply and then i'll just clean it off and apply my blush and clean it off on the tissue and apply my powder that's how i like to use it it's a really beautiful multi purpose brush so i like to keep that in my handbag in my handbag in my makeup bag then i have two eyeliners this is the lotus color kit kajal i'm not going to go too much into detail talking about this because i've spoken about this way too many times on my channel then i have the sugar waterproof liquid eyeliner this is my absolute favorite eyeliner i'm sorry there are dogs in the background anyway um this is one of my absolute favorite eyeliners i use this in almost all of my tutorials i think all the remaining products are lip products so um let's just go through that i have only one lip liner though this is a new lip liner i feel like if you line your lips with a new lip liner almost any lipstick color will look good with a new lip liner i usually line my lips with a new lip liner even if i'm doing a new lip or a dark lip or a bold lip because i feel like it's much easier to get the shape that you want with a new lip liner and this is the shade creamy nude by colorbar and i'll just swatch that for you it's a beautiful peachy nudey kind of nude lip liner i absolutely love it and i love that it has a sharpener on the top end so you can just sharpen it on the go so that's my first um nude lip liner and then i have the mac matte lipstick in lady danger This is a beautiful orange lipstick. It is my absolute favorite orange lipstick. I have to have this whenever I want orange lips. I'm usually wearing Lady Danger. Then my all-time favorite lipstick is this one. This is the Mac Retro Matte Lipstick in All Fired Up. I think if you told me you can only wear one lipstick for the rest of your life, I would probably choose this because this lipstick just makes my face look so much brighter and more awake and fresher. I absolutely love this lipstick. It is my favorite 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 lipstick of all time. It's a beautiful pinky toned red and yeah, I absolutely love it. That is what that looks like. Then I have um an Inglot lipstick. This is also a pink lipstick. Yeah, this is for when I want a pink lip. And this is in the shade 419. Wow, this video is probably going to be really really long. That is what that looks like. This is for when I want a pink lip. Then I have this one by Faces. This is in the shade Peach Me. It's a beautiful nude peach kind of color. It's a nude. I know it looks kind of dark on my hand, but it actually looks like a really beautiful pink based nude. It is so beautiful. I really really love it. And for a red, I have the Sugar Matte as Hell lipstick in Scarlet O'Hara. Don't know where to swatch. Okay, I'll swatch it then. That is what that looks like. It's a beautiful red. All my lipsticks are matte because I love matte lipsticks. Um, for a nude nude, I have this one. This is Maybelline Color Show in Mysterious Mocha. It's a beautiful nude nude. This is for when I'm wearing really really smoky eyes and I want that's that's it over there. And I want a really really nice nude wash of color. Um and the last one is this one. This is the NYX matte soft matte lip cream in Addis Ababa. I don't know how you pronounce that. It's a beautiful hot pink, but it actually does not look so hot pink on your lips. It looks like a very beautiful nude kind of pink. That's it right there. It's not as pigmented as the rest of the NYX matte lip creams. So I think we are done with this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, if you're watching this for the first time and if you like what you saw, please remember to subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is click that subscribe button right there, and you won't miss any more future updates from me. And you can keep a tab on all my videos. And yeah, don't forget to follow me on all my social media because I post fashiony stuff and my outfits and all of that on my social media. And by the way, the shoes that you see here aren't these absolutely stunning? These are by Into Two, and I received. received them about 5 or 6 days ago and i recently posted an outfit wearing these shoes so i'll show you what that looks like
So for more fashion stuff, you can follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook page. I will link all of that. I'm also on Ruposo, by the way. So I'll leave all of the links in the description box. And yeah, leave your wonderful comments below. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.